Hi guys, I've been getting lots of requests recently for rubber band powered cars that will go forwards then come back and stop where they started. Now I've given advice on how to do it and I thought I'd better make a car myself. So that's what this one's designed to do. I've got no specification as to how far it should go or how accurate it should be. Um, I've just used odd bits and pieces. Uh, the wheels at the front are connects. Uh, it's just a bit of, um, I can't remember what we call this, plastic. Uh, CD wheels. What I would have liked was a bar, a threaded bar, that I could put a wing nut on. But what I've actually got is two bolts, end-to-end, -end, held together just by one nut. Um, one bolt is threaded halfway in one way, and one bolt is threaded in halfway in the other way. We'll see if it works, and then I'll take it apart and show you what I've done. But the idea is it goes forwards. Um, we've got a hook on the axle here. So the rubber band will wind round it one way for a certain distance and then you push it round the loop so you then wind it the other way so it comes back again. I don't think I'm explaining it very clearly. So I'll see if I can demonstrate. The wing nut is held in place by the car body. You'll see what that does in a minute. Anyway, the rubber band, I've already wrapped it around a few times to put a bit of tension on it. And the wing nut is touching the outside nuts there. So as we go forwards, the rubber band is winding up and the wing nut is slowly being moved along the bar. Quite difficult to do and film at the same time. I don't know how far I need to go. You see the wing nuts moving its way along. I think that's probably far enough. What I now need to do. Put the rubber band over that loop, that hook. So now we come back and the rubber band is still being tensioned. And now the wing nut will go back the other way. So hopefully that wing nut will stop the wheel turning when the front wheels are on that line. And there we are, it's actually stopped it turning. Now as long as we don't get too much wheel spin, we should end up more or less back here. I'll let it go and see what happens. Right, we've stopped a bit short. That's because we had a bit of wheel spin, so it actually slid a little way at the other end. So what we'll have to do is put some rubber on those wheels, back wheels, to stop them sliding. What I've done there is I've cut the arm off of a rubber glove and just put it over that wheel. So we've only got one wheel with a rubber tire on it. So we'll start on the red line. I'll go and push it along to wind it up and then we'll see how close we can stop to the red line. OK, 
Okay, that's locked itself in place. Let's see what happens. That's not bad, is it? That's within a couple of inches. I'll give that one more go. Just make sure it's not tight before we start. So we go along there, winding the rubber band up, move the rubber band over the hook so that it holds it in place when we come back and it's still tensioning the rubber band. If you make this from more durable materials, then this will be more accurate. I'm just using what I had available. I reckon that's pretty good. So, job done. Right, let's show you what we've got. So we need a bit of tension on the rubber band to make sure it comes all the way back. So I've actually pre-wound the rubber band around here a few times just to put some tension on it. So that's the rubber band. Here, that hook is just a piece of wire that I've wrapped around the axle and then used a nut to clamp it in place. If I uh, I have to use a spanner to undo it. I'll get a spanner so we can undo that and just show you it's two bolts held together by the middle nut. Right, got pliers. If you had a continuous bar, you wouldn't need to bolt it together in the middle like this. Oh, I've done that up really tight. <laughs> That's all I did, I just had two bolts held together with a nut in the middle. And then the CDs are just held in place. That's the head of the bolt, a washer, washer on the inside and then a nut clamping it together. You need a good uh, bearing there. Those are just plastic tubes I've got there, hot glued onto the back. And then, as I say, the wing nut just moves along as the wheel turns. This isn't the best way to do it. A nice hard surface would be better because if we push this too hard, that does actually click round, which it's not supposed to. That that arm of that wing nut's slightly shorter than that arm. So you could improve this a lot, but that's the basics. Then the front end, that's just a connects axle. I've just hot glued it in place because I happen to have it ready. And then finally the rubber bands just push through two holes there. But I'm not telling you this is the way to make it, I'm just demonstrating how this works at this end. 
and it works. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.